There are some genres that feel like they'll never be made more accessible. Fighting games, MMOs, MOBAs, and the like. There are quality of life changes that can make them easier to get into, but conventional wisdom is just that at the end of the day, these are genres that require a lot of time to learn or play, to the point of being entire hobbies of their own. In general, the same could be said of the 4X genre, but Slipways is here to change that. With a cheeky tagline of explore, expand, exploit, exhale, it hits almost all the same beats as your favorite 4X titles in a fraction of the time, giving you a fresh uncharted galaxy to explore and colonize every time you hit play. It also has a killer core loop primarily designed around building a complex web of trade routes. In Slipways, you always have to expand to meet the demands of your growing space empire, but settling new worlds means new mouths to feed, which means more demands, which means you have to expand more. There's always more you could be doing to better your empire, which creates a fast-paced dynamic that fully captures that addicting one-more-turn dynamic that 4X titles are so renowned for. Yeah, if it isn't obvious yet, I'm really enjoying this one. As always, I'm Alex, and this is First Five, where I ask if games are worth your time, not your money. I played a game for five hours, and I'm gonna tell you if those were five hours well spent. And today, we're building a massive intergalactic economy from scratch in Slipways. Before we get too deep into the review, I did receive a free review copy of this game, so heads up. So I have a bit of a dirty secret. I really enjoy strategy games, specifically the really big ones. Stellaris, Civilization, Endless Space, Galactic Civilizations, Grand Strategy and 4X games are some of the coolest experiences you can enjoy in this medium, and like a lot of people who love them, I've been conned into hitting that one more turn button until 4am way more times than I'd care to admit. Yes, you heard it here first, Alex, champion of short games that is always complaining about not having enough time in their life to play them, is obsessed with the biggest, dumbest, most time consumiest games in existence. I contain multitudes. But it's true that as fun as a rousing game of Europa Universalis is, these grand strategy games are also one of the most time consuming genres to enjoy, where a single run can last even longer than a full RPG, and some games take literally hundreds of hours to learn. And as I've gotten older and busier, that means that it's a genre that is increasingly difficult to actually find the time to enjoy. I have to actively work to make time for a new Stellaris expansion when it comes out, in a way I almost never have to for other games. And this is where Slipways comes in. It's a resource management game that plays out a lot like a 4X minus the diplomacy. Just like in these games, your goal is to explore, colonize, and develop an uninhabited region of space. And you'll do that by building a complicated and ever-growing trade network of mutually dependent planets. As a very basic example of what I'm talking about, see here, where my homeworld needs wheat to sustain its population, so I went and expanded to a planet that produced wheat. But that planet in turn needs a robot to harvest the wheat, and then I close the loop by sending people from my first planet to go harvest the robots. Everybody's happy, and we have the birth of an economy. And from there, you repeat the process over and over. I've achieved basic subsistence, yes, but if I want people to be happy, they'll need more than just bread, so I picked up another planet to send them commercial goods. And I could build up the industry on my robot world if I start shipping water to the planet, which in turn means I have more robots to export somewhere else. And like this, you keep expanding further, and your fledgling space empire keeps growing more to feed your ever-hungrier economy. You need to go out and find more resources to build up the core worlds, but because every new planet has demands of its own, expanding introduces instability to the entire system. That you you then have to balance by going out to find more planets with more resources to make those guys you just sent to the frontier happy. And this all gets wrapped up in a score-chasing metagame to tell you how well you're doing. Slipways doesn't really judge you whether your end score nabs you two stars or five, but aside from the basic joy of just getting to explore a fresh universe and build something in it, your only real goal in this game is to pump those rookie numbers up, and you only have a limited amount of time to do it in. Oh right, I forgot to mention the coolest part about this game. Everything I just described, the exploration, the ever-expanding Jenga Tower of Economy Management, the huge space empire you build, you do the whole thing in under an hour. This is my jam! Folks, I am happy to report that Slipways actually goddamn did it. They took the 4X genre, one of the most notoriously complicated, fiddly, and long-form experiences in the medium, and successfully translated it into a loving adaptation you can play in an hour. It's not an exact one-to-one -one translation, but it's kind of like the board game version of a 4X, and it cuts close enough that for me, it's scratching the exact same itch. 
Slipways has been a phenomenally fun time, and has done it all with remarkably little sacrifice, trimming away all the busy work of running a giant space empire while still maintaining the spirit of exploration and management that makes the genre so addictive. Despite its brevity, there's actually still a ton to juggle in Slipways. I mentioned that this is a high score chasing game, but there are a lot of different avenues you can take to pump that score up. As each planet grows more prosperous, it becomes worth more points, so a lot of your time is spent plotting to make new trade routes to make your existing planets grow. But then there's also your council, which will periodically distract you with more specific objectives like colonizing a specific region or building a swanky new science lab. If you go all in on science, you can start discovering new technologies that give you score multipliers when you meet certain conditions, and if you want to build wide instead of tall, you also get some points for how big your space empire is. A successful run of Slipways will use all of these methods to a degree, but the fun and challenge is figuring out how hard to commit to each one. There is always more work to be done in Slipways, more areas to expand to, more ways you can make your little galactic empire more efficient. The game captures that one more turn feeling of a 4x game quite effectively by always dangling a dozen tantalizing ways to improve your score right in front of you, but critically, it never gives you the time to do all of it. You only have a limited number of turns, and time spent building up a planet to make it prosperous is also time not spent doing the council's fitting or building a new lab, and inevitably I've found there's always one priority that gets dropped until suddenly I only have a dozen turns left and I have to start getting real inventive in how I dig myself out of the hole I inadvertently made. This dynamic only gets stronger the deeper you progress into a run, as now not only do you need to weigh the opportunity costs of what you try to develop, but also where. As you expand outwards, your empire starts developing distinct regions, each with their own opportunities and challenges, and on more than one occasion, I've caught myself obsessively developing one region to perfection, while on the opposite side of my empire, a collection of planets moldered in mediocre subsistence. And this dynamic is why Slipways is so fun. My experience of this game isn't that of a meticulous architect slowly putting together the perfect house of cards with care and precision. It's that of an ADHD hamster, constantly sprinting to and fro, putting out fires, scratching my head over how I'll meet the council's latest demands, and oh god, is that really the turn counter? When the hell did that even happen? So alright. Slipways is pretty good at maintaining that one more turn feeling of a 4x game, but it's also pretty good at making you go one more game. Like a proper 4x, every run gives you an entirely new randomly generated universe to explore, and like picking out a country to play in Civilization, you can build your own playstyle by choosing three races to run your space empire. At first glance, you might think you want more than just five races, but every race brings multiple playstyles to the table, and there's a tight interconnectedness with what's already on display that would be challenging to maintain with more options. And then Slipways starts sliding into almost roguelike territory with how each race gets some light randomization between runs, distributing different common texts between them, and picking randomly from a few perks that each define the foundation of how your empire is going to be run. And if you remember those different late game texts I mentioned, they each lead to different playstyles that prioritize developing different planets or building your empire in a specific way. Outside of that, there are multiple ways to engage with Slipways, too. There's your standard free play where you just jump in and enjoy a nice no muss no fuss match, a ranked seed you can compete with others to get a high score on, and a campaign mode that I actually found pretty compelling. Each mission makes different demands of you, some requiring you to build up a specific region around a particular object, others requiring you to completely relearn how to structure your economy to account for new materials. And finally, if you want to cut out the beating heart of what makes Slipways fun, there's a no stress endless mode that doesn't put you on a turn limit and just lets you build away. There's also something to be said for how Slipways handles its multiple difficulty modes, which gives the game even more variety. On its normal difficulty, there are a lot of systems you don't really have to pay attention to. For example, you technically have to pay money to settle planets and build connections between them, but on normal difficulty, the economy kind of just takes care of itself. As long as you're linking planets together properly, you're never really going to run out of money, so you're never really pushed towards tax or perks that give you more of it. But when you go up to a higher difficulty, suddenly money becomes much more of an issue. Your margins become a lot thinner, and you hit the point where you need to be profitable a lot faster. And suddenly, all those techs and perks that are relatively pointless on normal become a lot more enticing. But lest you think I'm complaining, I actually think that this is a pretty smart way of going about it, letting the player learn the basics and get a feel for the game on normal before later difficulties force you to layer even more considerations and mechanical systems on top of what you're already doing. It keeps the game from being overwhelming up front and gives people without a lot of time like me something instantly fun and gratifying to casually plunk away at on normal, while also still providing some serious mechanical challenge if you decide to really dive in and try to learn the game. But I'm starting to get ahead of myself here, because talk like that is usually reserved for the big question. What do you get out of five hours with Slipways? 
Well, Slipways has two different approaches you can take. One is to just keep messing around in free play, which is what I ended up doing at first, which leads to a more standard 4X experience and was an absolute blast to do. But Slipways does feel a little bit like it has an intended route that it gently nudges you through, with one free play match for your first game to teach you the basics, followed by the four hour campaign, which is its own crucible that forces you to play smarter to meet its extended objectives. And once you're done with that, you'll be right on the threshold where the entire game opens up for you to go do whatever you want, right at the five hour mark. Don't get me wrong, the campaign was great fun from start to finish, but I found it more entertaining to spend those five hours making my own fun, then eventually wandered over to the campaign a little later when I felt like it and wanted a heftier challenge. And of course, as I mentioned, you could also dither about in endless mode or see how you fare on a higher difficulty, which almost feels like a game mode all of its own. Like a lot of the best games I cover on this channel, Slipways is a game you can fully enjoy and appreciate within five hours, but if the game really grips you, you can keep going with it for far longer and you'll be rewarded. And this is genuinely one of the best games I've covered on this channel. As a strategy game, it's a 10 out of 10, every bit as addicting as its 4X peers that I've sunk hundreds of hours into. But the fact that it's translated that genre's appeal into an hour-long core loop only makes it all the more mind-blowing. If you have any love for strategy games of any stripe, go out and buy this thing right now. You'll thank me later. Hey, if you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed Slipways, consider supporting me on Patreon. With your generous support, I can start doing all kinds of cool stuff like more in-depth video essays and five-hour streams where I review games like this in real time. So if any of that sounds cool, please consider becoming a patron today. But I hope you enjoyed this first five review. Thanks for watching this far, and I'll see you all next week.